We doing math today. Ain't got time for no games. We doing math today. All work and no play. We doing math today. Go over um, D1. We need to write an equation for each function by transforming the equation as described. So we're basically taking uh, words to letters and then we get an equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some observations. D1 says translated to the right. Okay, what letter is this? This is going to be a C value, okay? Um, going toward the right, though, is actually going to be a negative number, negative 8. Okay? Um, take that back. C is going to be a positive 8. Going towards the right is um, positive. Okay, and this one up is your d value, which is going to be 2. So if you write down your parent function, and then we just substitute in our c value, which is 8, and then our d value, which is 2. I don't need uh, A, I don't need B. I am going to um, highlight in this negative sign. Okay? And let's just go ahead and write this nice and clean. Um, I guess you should pick a different function, right? Because you're translating this. Um, the square root of x minus 8 plus 2 is going to be your answer. So I have a transit to the right. When you're going to the right, your C value would be a positive. But when you when you write it in there, just be careful that it looks like it's the what opposite. It says minus 8. All right, D2, it says reflect over the y-axis. This is going to be a B value that's going to basically be negative. And if you write out your parent... That means I just put my B value right there, negative 1. Everything else is the same. Well, just make sure you don't need your A, don't need C, don't need D. So I don't need the parentheses and pluses. So pretty much it just looks like this. And of course, if you wanted to make that um, super clean, excuse me, I forgot the uh, 2 there from up here. Um, you can erase the 1. Erase the 1. Where's my eraser? There it is. Okay. And then you can just box your answer. And there's our equation. That one is reflected over the y-axis. Alright, D3 here. Um, and we need to translate this left three units. Translating left is your keyword. This is going to be your C value. And if it's left, it's going to be negative three. And then your D value is going to be for down, up and down. So down means a negative two. Okay. So let's go ahead and write our parent function in. A square root b x minus c plus d. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move in the c value is a negative 3. My d value is a negative 2. Now, I'm going to put this in a bigger color, bigger, different color. How about purple? That you already have a negative sign. So you already have this negative. Okay, so your a value is essentially negative 1. And you have this plus 4 to the right of the x value. So you have this um, plus 4 there. 
And I also want to highlight that this here is the opposite of C value. So I'm going to put that right there, okay? And so we'll just do the black again, g of x equals, okay, forgot to say we don't need what? B, so we can get rid of that. And we don't need A, well, because A is negative one. Okay, so you have, you can drop the parentheses because there's nothing onto the left. So you have x minus a negative three plus four minus two, and then you can just clean this up. You only need the negative sign out in front. Um, this becomes a plus three, so plus three plus four is x plus seven minus two. And this is our answer for D3. All right, D4 gives us a function. It tells us translated to the right five units. So we have to give that a letter, A, B, C, or D. Well, I see the word right, so it has to be a C. And if it's going towards the right, it's going to be a positive five. Vertically stretched, okay, so this tells me that this is going to be an A value that's going to be two, okay? Now, let's go ahead and write out our parent function with all the letters. Okay, and let's cross off things we don't have. I do have a D value, so I'm gonna have to keep that there. Okay, so let's put that minus nine. Um, I have an A value and I have a C value, but I don't have a B. Okay, so we don't need that one. Okay, let's go ahead and write our C value, which is five. Our A value, which is gonna be two. And let's write everything in black that we didn't do a substitution. So G of X equals two times the square root of X minus five minus nine. And we know how to simplify anything, so that's going to be our answer right there. D5 here. How do I get these words translated to the left six units? What keyword pops out to you? Left. So it's a C value, and we're gonna, it's going to be negative six. Down, up and down is your D value, so D is going to be negative three. Negative means going down. I'm going to go ahead and write down a function with all the letters. And I notice that this is cubic, so you must have a three there, or else it's a two. Okay, let's go ahead and substitute in our values. C is negative six. Okay, and your D value is negative three. That means we don't have an A and we don't have a B. Okay, so which means I don't need the parentheses either. I am going to highlight this negative sign that's there. It's part of the formula. G of X equals the cube root of X minus negative six minus three, and then you can just clean that up. G of x equals the x plus six minus three. And this one would be our answer. All right, let's go over d6. It says reflect over the x-axis. This one is, anytime you have a reflection, it's just going to be a negative. The question is, where is the negative or negative 1? Is it going to be A or B? Okay, so this one you can actually do it two ways. A equals negative 1. So if I write the parent function, A, I write this down every time. Super helpful, guys. And then cross off things you don't need. So we don't have a B. C or D, so I don't need the parentheses or the minus sign. 
all you essentially have to do is just substitute a to b naked 1. Okay, in the original problem, it does have a two-thirds out there. Let's do that in purple. So g of x equals, okay, the relationship on the left of the radical is, a, is, is multiplication. That's my 3, and then just x. Okay, so you could have g of x equals negative 2 thirds cube root of x as one of your answers. Okay, so this one's a little bit interesting in that you could have also had said that the b value was negative 1. And if I just write out the answer, I'll just call this h of x. 2 thirds cube root of negative x. And I'll explain why that why both the answers are the same. If you just draw yourself a graph and you get the purple, so I'm just going to grab, well, I should do blue. The parent graph is um, a cubic, so it looks something like this, okay? That is f of x. You can write their names, right? You guys have nine names, write your names on the paper. Okay, so the purple would just reflect it over the the x-axis. So there's the x, and then your graph would be pretty much this. Okay, so that would be uh, g of x. But the reason why h of x works, even so, is reflect over the x-axis, and this one reflects it over the y-axis, because if you take the blue and you reflect it over the y, it actually comes out to be the same graph. Okay, so either of these answers, um, purple or the green one, would work for d6. Alright, d7, we're going to be translating it to the right 7 units. So to the right, it's going to be a c value. And if it's going to the right, it's going to be a positive 7. Let me write out the uh, parent with the letters. B, X, minus C. Always draws one way to big. And then plus D. Okay. I have a C value. So I don't have a D, B, or an A. Now, in some ways I do, so the d value is already a plus 1, okay, the, you have this 2 there, now it's not a negative 2, I'm just going to put a, um, it is, it is a negative 2, and it's inside the square root, so cube root, sorry. Okay, so let's just write this out. G of x equals, okay, I have the x. Okay, so here's this, the, the tricky one, is the minus sign. And we said that, let me do this with a highlighter, c is equal to um, 7. So I'm going to put the 7 there. So inside the radical, you have negative 7 minus 2, which is essentially negative 9. So this is your clean answer. Cube root of x minus 9 uh, plus 1. And this is our answer. Boom. <laughs> D8 here, we need to write an equation. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. So I have translated up 7 units. The keyword is up, so that is a d value, and that's going to be d equals 7. Okay, compressed, but um, that tells me it's going to be a number less than 1, which we already have 1 half. And then here's the keyword vertically. So that is going to be my a value. a value is going to be 1 half. 
let's go ahead and write out the parent with all the letters. B, X minus C, and then plus D. Okay, let's find out some stuff we already have in here. I already have a minus 3 out here. So you can put that there. And we also have, let's see. Okay, so here you also have a plus uh, 4. That's, I guess that's part of the problem. Let's erase this one. And then I said the plus 4 in light blue. Okay, um, I don't need the B value. And um, the A value is one half, so we're going to put that there. Um, we don't need a C value, so we don't need that one. And then the D value is seven, so I'm going to put that there. All right, so I got G of X equals one half cube root of just x plus 4, and then my d value was um, 7. So 7 minus 3 would be what? 5. Uh, 7 minus 3 would give me plus 4 out here on the outside. And here my box, my answer. And that's our answer for D8.